Well, good morning, YouTube. Louie here, and welcome to the weekend. Uh, I've got some stuff to show you today, some recent purchases. I'm going to show you some old binoculars that come from uh, Nazi Germany, believe it or not. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, aliens and skulls and copper and Libertads and... Uh, Britannia bars and so forth. So come on along. Uh, I know uh, it has been a true bummer this week, but I will tell you with uh, silver at 2230 or so and gold at 1750, we have a GSR, a gold to silver ratio, um, over 78. Uh, that is showing extreme value in silver. All right, it's going to have a hard time pushing over 80. I just don't think. Um, I don't think the the GSR is going to go over 80. So I think we're uh, we're sitting pretty near um, a high on the GSR. And if your ultimate goal is to convert your silver into gold, or most of it into gold, then um, now is the time to be collecting silver, right? And then uh, when that ratio flips back. Um, um, then convert it back into gold. That's the way I am looking at things these days. I'm valuing my silver by virtue of the GSR. And uh, will, will silver continue going down in fiat? Well, uh, it could. Will gold continue going down in fiat? You know, could, could we see um, 1650 gold? Uh, could we see $20 silver? Yeah, I suppose that's possible. It depends a lot on the economy. Um, I didn't see it happening. Uh, I didn't see us, you know, busting much below 24 on silver. But here we are in the 22s and uh, no rockets went off. I will tell you when the, do when the dollar strengthened uh, last week, um, obviously the big banks piled on. There was tremendous uh, selling pressure on silver. Um, and, uh, you know, with a potential strengthening economy, and you can debate that, uh, gold would not be, uh, would not be where you'd want to have your money and silver trades with gold. Uh, it apparently does not trade with commodities like copper. Uh, I was pouring copper a few years ago, making some really nice copper skulls, and I picked these up on eBay. Boy, I think they were about 50 cents an ounce, but, uh, 999 copper rounds. Um, but why is it that copper, the commodity, um, has gone up and retained uh, almost all of its gains, but silver, the commodity, has gone up and lost most of its gains? I don't know. That That's going to take a smarter person than I to figure that out, but um, watch copper. Um, I also think platinum has been signaling um, a sell-off in metals. I mean, platinum is unbelievably weak right now. I actually bought some the other day um, in the paper market. And, uh, God, get, getting really too cheap. And then again, platinum as another industrial metal um, used in catalytic converters. You'd have to ask yourself, well, if the economy is strengthening, then why isn't uh, platinum going up uh, commensurate with with auto production, but uh, perhaps auto production is weak as well. But there are just too many things um, to consider to really know what is going to happen. Um, it, it just, it could go any way you want. All I do know is that when you convert your fiat into hard metals, look at these alien rounds. Man, I'm so glad I got a tube of these. Uh, a lot of this stuff has built-in equity, and it will not drop the way that pure bullion will. Uh, when you convert your wealth into precious metals, um, you know, gold and silver and uh, other hard assets, it's there for you. It's, it's, it's going to be there, whether they price it at $23 or they price it at um, $30 or $50. Um, in the end, you will have uh, you will have your wealth, um, and it is a savings vehicle as well. If you're losing faith uh, in this movement, boy, I don't blame you. I'm discouraged too. I'm extremely discouraged. But um, um, I would say, you know, perhaps you have too much in metals. If this is really bothering you, you should have just the right amount 
uh, just like Goldilocks, uh, just the right amount of, uh, of metals as a percentage of your net worth so that uh, when the bottom falls out, which it often does, um, you're not hurt by it. Uh, but when it goes up exponentially, you're saved by it. Your insurance policy pays off. All right, and uh, I was just going through some boxes uh, looking for some important papers. Came across these old binoculars. Uh, these are German binoculars. Um, this has nothing to do with anything, but uh, you can bet that something like a, a pair of uh, um, wonderfully manufactured uh, German binoculars um, even though it was for the wrong side of the war, uh, something like that. Do you think that that will go down in value? There's a tangible asset that's worth holding on to. And if you look closely there, you'll see the swastika. Um, and I don't collect uh, Nazi artifacts, uh, so to speak, but my dad uh, fought in World War II and brought these back, um, along with some other pretty cool things. So um, I've had these in the family, uh, well, you know, ever since he got back from World War II, and they are mine now, and they will be my kids as well someday. But there's a collector piece, eh? Nothing wrong with owning something like that. You don't just have to own silver and gold. Uh, you should also be stocking up your um, supply shed with all, um, all means of, um, of uh, tangible items that you need to survive, uh, whether it's a toothbrush or a shaver, or um, you know the, the special uh, kind of liquor that you you like. Um, these prices are going up r rapidly, super rapidly, um, and uh, uh, I, I don't know I don't know what to say about that other than you know convert your fiat if you can a large part of it into things that you need, and uh, we'll see where it all ends. You know they they hope that you lose faith, right? because um, then they've got you where they want you. They've got you, they've got you on their worthless digital uh, currency. And it is worthless, it is backed by nothing, and uh, that's what it's worth. Uh, came across these old monarch skulls here, um, and I was debating whether or not, <laughs> come on now, I was debating whether or not I should uh, clean these up a little bit. Uh, if you recall my videos from about five years ago, um, I had these at the bottom of a fish tank. I thought they looked really cool down there. And in fact, you can't hurt silver even at the bottom of a fish tank for a year. Uh, the fish is no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, these little monarch skulls, they, uh, they held up okay. But I'm thinking about cleaning those up or maybe tumbling them. These are um, laser inscribed on the back. Um, so uh, I don't know if that would tumble off. That would probably tumble off if I tumbled them. So I may need to give them a bath with, with baking soda and uh, uh, baking soda and uh, hot water. Okay, um, I showed you the copper. Now let me show you what else I picked up. Uh, I told you about these the other day, and uh, you had to be quick like a bunny to pick up these $200 uh, reverse-proof Libertads. But about once a year, Apmex... Um, will liquidate their Libertad stock and you'll get stuff like this. Um, reverse proof, five ounce, 2020 lib. Just beautiful, just beautiful. I've got these up for sale for about 450 bucks, but what did they cost? Um, they cost, Uh, this is unbelievable. I know what. Why would Outmix do this, right? You have to give me your thoughts. Um, here they are. They cost two hundred and nine dollars and eighty cents. Uh, I have a friend that bought quite a few. The same friend that recommended these to me. Um, I only got two because I wasn't really tracking the uh, reverse proof Libertas at the time. But as he said, this is like the biggest no-brainer in the world, and they had tons of them for sale. Um, but I only got two. I was kind of like, stupid. <laughs> anyway, beautiful reverse-proof Libertads. I think there's only about 500 of these made, and uh, 
can't believe AppMex uh, liquidated them. I think, you know, uh, my, my theory with AppMex and the Libertods of all kinds is that they have some kind of an agreement uh, with the, uh, the Bank of Mexico to, um, to liquidate old stock before new stock comes out. That's uh, just what I, I mean, there's no way you would give away a $450 coin for 200 bucks unless somebody made you do it, right? All right, what else we got? This was something else I told you about. Some of you bought these. And uh, I don't know, with silver dropping, I mean, I have another 100 ounces of silver coming that I thought were cheap when I bought it. Now it's a dollar cheaper everywhere. And uh, these, uh, I don't see these getting cheaper because these are um, bars with equity, but um, these were on sale for uh, 180, uh, could, be, could be 180 bucks, something like that. Uh, pardon me, I gotta snip this. Hopefully you're still there. Yeah, video's still going. All right. And this is the kind of thing Silver Eagle. This is the kind of thing that I like to stack. It provides, um, gee, oh my God, they're all attached. Royal Mint Bullion. Uh, if you were to try to buy bullion from the Royal Mint, this is probably what they would be selling. They also come in 100 ounce bars. Uh, Royal Mint does not any longer seem to be selling the, uh, the cast uh, ingots, which I have some of and I just love. I don't think they're doing cast silver anymore. But here is the Britannia bar. Um, these are 10 ounces and they were about 285, something like that. So you say 28.50 an ounce, what are you, an idiot? You know, you can buy silver all day long for 25 an ounce today. Premiums are gone, premiums are dead on everything but silver eagles. But uh, picking something like this up um, is uh, an investment in the future, I mean, People are going to want these Britannia bars, and they put a floor under your silver investment that I'm willing to pay a couple extra bucks for. Uh, here I got uh, five in total. Um, and I'm still happy I bought these, Al although I think I'm done buying silver for a little bit. I mean, I just bought 300 ounces in the last two weeks, and until I sell, uh, until I sell some more, I think I'm probably got to put a stop to buying the silver even though the GSR says screaming by. All right, and look what these sons of bitches did. Look at this. They threw my two American Silver Eagles into a bag without a flip so they could rub on each other. Man, that is really schlocky. Who the hell did I buy these from? Who did I buy these from? Oh, I hope I can tell you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Uh, my name is on here, but I want you to see who packs things like that. Provident Metals, under new ownership, as you know, uh, just basically a shill uh, arm of uh, JM Bullion and Amark and so forth. Look at how they sent my Eagles. I paid 33 bucks or something for these because I had not yet bought a Type 2 Silver Eagle. Well, maybe... Maybe they knew I was down on the new design and they wanted to punish me, but that is wrong. That is just wrong to send these slopping together. I mean, I didn't buy AU coins. I bought BU coins. They ought to come in a damn flip, Provident. Bastards. Excuse me. But they're probably having trouble hiring staff as well. There is the security feature, ho-hum. A joke, U.S. Mint. Um, and there is the Silver Eagle. So I hadn't really taken a, a look at one of these up close. Um, and since they've been rubbing together, I guess these will never be MS-70s. I can't believe that we are stuck with this design for the next 30 years. Can't believe it. Looks like, reminds me of one of those old spotty uh, Royal Canadian Mint uh, wildlife coins. I mean, geez, you know, even Mercanti could have drawn something, you know, epic 
because he's he's really good at eagles. He does the uh, he did the original wedge tails. Um, well, I don't want this to be a negative video, but there there's some crappy eagles. Uh, no, I don't like the Type 2. I still own the Type 1, and they are not losing value as rapidly as uh, other Eagles. But, you know, you, you shouldn't be paying over 28 for those. So don't. Just don't for the Type 2s. All right, that is all I've got. I hate them. Sorry I ended that on a... Uh, on a bummer there, I should have probably done the Eagles first, but they ticked me off by throwing those in that plastic bag together. All right, so uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, Bummerville, I know, you're probably thinking of giving up, probably really disappointed, but um, you know, this economy keeps teetering back and forth, and uh, we'll have to see if enough people go back to work to uh, bring us into expansion mode again. But the stuff that Biden rolled out last week, I swear I wanted to vomit um, <clears throat> with the, uh, the, the rhetoric, the, uh, the uh, progressive rhetoric that he was spewing out. It's going to throw us into depression. Even if we get out of this um, health care crisis and everybody gets back to work, his policies are going to throw us into a long, deep uh, depression. And uh, the, cur the currency is just going to be garbage. Um, so um, don't let the price movement um, affect you. Um, maybe silver is down, but um, dollars um, are temporarily showing some strength. But um, we, we've got some real garbage coming out of Washington, and I think they're going to push it through. Um, and it's going to lead to, pardon me for getting political for just a moment here, but um, it's, it's going to lead to uh, Democrats being tossed out on their ears. All right. What, what, what they do today will bring recession tomorrow and will bring the Republicans back in 2022. And uh, I won't, you know, I won't, I won't say whether that's a good thing or not. I think both parties are corrupt to the core, but um, really stupid policies coming out of Biden, who is just a mouthpiece for the progressives at this point. All, all, the, all the evil thoughts that uh, they have are coming back. Uh, right through that mouthpiece of theirs, and uh, I don't know. Give it, give it a couple years. It's going to destroy the the Democratic Party because uh, the the results will be shown to be uh, very, very suboptimal. So you protect yourself. Get your silver and gold together. Keep your cash ready for um, you know whatever crash may happen. Have your tangible assets, and just take care of yourself, guys, and don't lose faith. Uh, I'm here. I've always been here. I'm going to try to stay being here um, because I do believe in this stuff. And uh, it, it, it's not only worthwhile when it's going up, it's also worthwhile when it's going down. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Louis out.